I'm doing a um, kind of a variety. There's like a sweater, a little baby sweater. These are some water shoes and a garment bag. These are like kind of semi-waterproof. Uh, we've been using them as couch covers. Uh, another sweater, another something, another sweater, another couch cover. I had another pair of my shorts, swim trunks, a t-shirt, and some underwear. It's like a pretty respectable load of laundry, finally. It's like I had to wash everybody's stuff. Okay, so let's get kind of zoomed in here. So I don't know what load I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to do this push and wash cotton and 30 degree wash in 45 minutes. So I think that's going to be the, that's going to be my cycle because it's, it must be their best wash if that's, if they have a button specifically for it. Okay. I'm going to put a, a little scoop of this amazing aerial powder in here. Again, I'm just kind of slightly under 50 milliliters. Okay, press it, hold it for two seconds. Let's see if it does anything. Now it just automatically starts it. Well, here we go.
this.
Okay, let's see how that turned out. No suds at the bottom here, which is a, definitely a good sign. It's a really good job for being like a kind of a cheap machine, I suppose. Pretty darn good. I'm going to do a couple of more loads with this machine. Uh, I'm going to do one empty for sure because I kind of want to see what it, um, like kind of like the base water level. I know that the quick wash actually uses a decent amount of water. Like it gets to, the, you know, kind of the bottom of the tub. And, but I want to see what this push and wash one does and see if it does anything. I'll also wash it like maybe a load of like beach towels or bath towels or something like that. And that's pretty much going to button up this machine. My brother is in a different apartment and he has another machine. So I'm going to try and video that one if I can. My vacation is quickly kind of coming to an end. So I don't know if I'll have a bunch of time to do that or not, but I'd like to get some of these European washers in just for the sake of getting them. It seems like my American YouTube channel doesn't reach a lot of Europeans. And I think that maybe if I do a couple of European machines, it might attract some of the European crowd or anything. So anyways, thanks for watching.